Welcome to King's Pick 6, your guide to the sports betting landscape. So last week was much improved. I went 5-1. and one. And um, to be honest, I missed the 1 by 15 yards. So we almost hit. Our record is now 8-10. and 10. It's a lot better than what we were talking about last my, with my three wins. So we're just going to keep this these good vibes rolling. So today I got a parlay of tonight's Thursday night football game with the Giants and Cowboys. And I got a parlay with tonight's baseball game with the uh, Yankees and Orioles. Super silly simple. They're both on late, so we don't have to worry about catching the 2 p.m. game. <sighs> Let's do this. Uh, first up, I'm taking um, C.D. Lamb for over 80.5 reception yards, and I got that for a minus 110 on bet 365. C.D. Lamb's a monster, and he's an even bigger monster when he plays the Giants. Last year, um, he had 151 reception yards and a touchdown against the Giants at home. Then on the road, he got 77 um, reception yards. I think it's going to go off. They were mad about last week. Dak's going to go off. He's going to go off. Uh, this season, he's, he's already putting up 67, 90, and a 61 game. I think it's it's time he gets his 100-yard game. And that's going to happen this week. Up next, same game. Um, Giants and Dallas at 8.15 p.m. Um, they got Devin Singletary for 50 rush yards. Dallas defense simply stinks. They can't stop the run. They can't stop the pass. So I decided to focus on the run. I uh, went a little light. So I'm only getting a minus 210 on this. But um, 2019, when he was with the Buffalo Bills, um, Singletary had 63 rush yards against Dallas. And um, Dallas has given up 67, 90, 61 yards every game this season. That's what I'm going to per game this year. And um, currently, Singletary has 65, 95, and 37. 37 kind of worries me. That's why I only went down to 50 instead of taking his max. So that's it for tonight's Thursday night football game at 8.15. Um, so going to the land of baseball, um, I'm betting heavy on the Yankees tonight. I think I think they're on a roll. They're going crazy. And the Orioles are season's pretty much over, if it's not over already. Uh, you can correct me. I don't care. Um, so I'm taking Garrett Cole. He's their ace pitcher who was injured. Um, he was out for a while, came back, and now he's back in his mode. So I'm taking him to get at least six strikeouts. I got that for a minus 150. So this year versus those, he had an um, earned runs of one. He didn't give up more than he gave, only gave up one run and seven strikeouts in the end. Um, ne next time we played him, he had two earned runs and he gave up five strikeouts. So I'm going to go ahead and pair that with Garrett Cole um, under 2.5 earned runs. And I got that for a plus 110. So, of course, since Cole's on the mound, I'm taking the Yankees. Money line and and also to add to that, Burns has not had much success with the Yankees. I, I think it might I'll probably go under. I'm not messing with that. It's gonna be a tight game. Burns isn't a bad pitcher, but the Yankees have had his number the past few times they played. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the cherry on the cake, and I'm gonna do a Soto hit. It's the last time um, Soto played matchup with Burns this season. He got a hit. He didn't play him last season. I don't want to take it back any further. So Soto hit. Got that for a minus 170. So, put all that together, I put down $10, and I would win $189 on Bet365. And um, the other thing is, if you're looking to do the earned runs and tail this exactly, Bet365 is the only app I can find unless you earned runs. That's why I want Bet365 for this week. <sighs> Let's roll the graphic. CD Lamb, over 85.5 reception yards, minus 110. Devin Singletary, over 50, 50 plus rush yards, minus 210. Garrett Cole, over 5.5 strikeouts, minus 115. Yankees, money line, minus 115. Soto hit, minus 170. Garrett Cole, under 2.5 earned runs, plus 110. Pull out together, odds, plus 1790. Put down 10 bucks, you win $189. Extremely easy. Tell me, follow me, let's keep the good times rolling. Most importantly, these are my picks. They may not be your picks, but they are mine. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. King out.